Oh my gosh, I haven't done this in so long. I kind of forgot how to do it. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Melody. Welcome back to my channel. I have not done a sitting talking video in months. Like, I don't even remember what the last video I posted was of like me just talking to the camera. All of my videos have been vlogs and like things like that. So super weird being back, but I'm so excited. I was kind of on like this filming kick and I just wanted to film finally and make a YouTube video. I think also because I've just been so busy. If you guys have seen on my Instagram and my TikTok, I got married in Bali like two, is it two months ago now? Yeah, two months ago, so I've been super busy, and there's just a lot going on in my life right now. But I am so happy and so excited to be back filming a video, and if you guys can see from my title, today I'm going to be doing the Balenciaga Hourglass Bag Review. Mine is the extra small one, and I love it so much. I got it when I was in Singapore after my wedding, and it was kind of like a wedding present to myself, or I just like said it was that. I feel like I should have maybe gotten it beforehand, because then I could wear it to like all my wedding things like going dress shopping and like all those bridal things because it is a white bag but I got it in Singapore because they have the tax refund even though it honestly didn't even come out to that much less than if I were to get it here so I don't know it's fine though <laughs> all right enough talking I always do my intro so long but I just feel like I haven't spoken to the camera in so long so this intro was kind of long because I had a lot of things to say <laughs> but let's just get on with the review oh shoot the sun is about to come in this is going to bug the shit out of me so I think I need to just hurry I think is it coming from there anyways here is the bag it is so freaking cute I was debating on doing like an unboxing with the ASMR like but I don't know where the box is because I've already had this for over a month well I guess two months because that's when I came back from Bali. But here it is, it's so cute. It's the crocodile one, it's extra small. Okay, this is going to bug me. Please ignore this lighting here. I don't know how to fix it. Let me actually, let me see. Did that help? Mm, only a little bit. Where is that coming from? It's adorable, it's the crocodile leather one and it has gold accents. I only ever get bags with gold accents because I'm a gold girl. If you guys follow me, you know I only ever wear gold jewelry. My ring is gold. Oh my gosh, I think this is the first time I'm showing my wedding band on here. Oh, let's catch the light. Gold everything for me. So I also saw this bag with the silver accents and I obviously did not want that one. So I was really, really excited when I saw the gold one. It comes with a strap. I wear this crossbody a lot just so I don't lose it or fling it around or I just put it on one shoulder and it looks cute when you're taking photos. It has a handle here. Let me actually look at the dimensions for you because they do have a ton of other sizes. I think they have small, mini, and regular or something like that hold on let me check i should have checked this beforehand also this bag goes for 2700 in the u.s it's probably less elsewhere i think i only really saved 200 dollars though when i bought it in singapore they also have it in different colors they have a ton of colors and a ton of different like materials too and they're all so cute and i love how it's just so small but it comes with black in black the black one is really popular too with the gold accents and it has full black like black hardware and it looks really sick uh, they have pink green orange purple blue I've, I've literally seen all the colors oh i guess they have optic white and white oh wow maybe it is a thing and i've just never noticed that there's an optic white and a white crazy the dimensions are three and a half foot strap drop nine to 23 inches convertible strap drop Oh my gosh, this light is literally going to bug the shit out of me. Maybe I should hold it on this hand so you guys can see it this way. So the dimensions are... Sitting it on screen because I totally set it incorrectly, but the length is 7.4 inches, height is 5.1, and the width is 3.1. And the approximate weight is 0 0.8 pounds. How cute. Okay, almost one pound, but I love this. Let's open it and see the inside. You open it's a flap like this magnetic i love this sound 
you know it just sounds so nice <laughs> but you open it like this it actually fits a good amount of stuff i put like a few lipsticks in here lip gloss lip liner my wallet uh what else have i put in here like random things you put some candies some snacks you know it's a good amount it's a good good sized bag the back has a compartment too for easy access if you want to put your ids in there and it still has that leather smell which i like the only thing that kind of gets flawed pretty quickly is the buckles or the chains right here uh, what are these even called the little clips because it keeps like shaking around and i feel like also with white bags you need to be careful because when you wear jeans or colored pants it tends to rub here but with this one i have not gotten it that dirty yet i've only got the corners dirty a little bit but it has not transferred with my pants color which is really nice oh no i, I got it kind of dirty i need to wash this with water but yes this is adjustable straps here too overall i love this bag and i love that the handle is like a hard handle this literally pairs with everything i've been wearing this bag with almost every outfit just because it's white and gold and that's literally all my outfits are white and gold. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this. I want to get it in other colors just because I think it is so freaking cute. The B here has Balenciaga right there. Sorry for the light. Um, okay, here. Maybe if I put the light on it, you'll see. Right there. It's pretty cute. It also has Balenciaga on the clips as well. There's a logo here. Okay, this is like for if you're looking for fake stuff. If you guys didn't know, I used to work at Posh Authenticate as an authenticator and I can tell when bags are fake. There's like an ID. Okay, it's so hard to tell in like with this light. What if I did that? Okay, there you go. You can see there's a, a code. Oh my gosh, what is it called again? I need to look this up. Okay, I think it's called date code is what I was thinking of. I know LV is date code. I think it's the same thing with these. I don't know why I'm blanking and I did this for like a, a year and a half. <laughs> the date code or serial number, if you want to call it that. It's in the inside and it says made in Italy. Here, see it again. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I don't want to like deform it, but there it is. If you can see, I think the other one um, that I showed previously looked better, but yes i love this bag and i like how it's not too shiny the gold hardware okay this light is literally killing me so i think i need to wrap it up because it's literally gonna bug me for the rest of the video if you guys are thinking about getting this bag highly suggest it's so freaking cute and matches with everything and even if you get the other bags i think like if you get a uh, orange or blue it's such a pop of color and if you match that with the same colored heels i don't know i'm just obsessed when your bag matches your heels and then your top or your outfit is like all the same color for example like a blue what's it called like a blue dress for example and you have an orange hourglass bag with orange shoes and that contrast of it is just like so sick to me and i love it but yes i guess that is it for my hourglass review Whew. oh my gosh okay that was like the first video of me back but i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned a little something about the hourglass bag hopefully i will come back with some more videos if i remember sometimes i'm just like on tiktok and i just keep doing tiktok videos instead of filming youtube but anyways i keep blabbering i think I need to stop talking. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be back soon with some more videos for you guys. Okay. See you. You'll find a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me. Yeah.